you might not believe this, but you're actually getting two videos in the space of one week. I mean, who saw that coming? Because I know I didn't. But once again, there's been another trailer for Five Nights at Freddy's, this time not for the movie, but for the Security Breach DLC, Ruin, which has been almost a year since we had our first teaser, which was that, which it looks really cool. So I'm really hoping that it lives up to that poster and it's, you know, actually scary, because let's be honest, for Security Breach, didn't look like a horror game. So, we're here on securitybreachtv.com, you know, <laughs> so many memories on this website, but there has been an update, which as you can see, oh that's a very security breach ruin. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and hit play, see what this free DLC is going to be, and hopefully we get a release date. Ooh. Cassie, I hope you get this message. I'm trapped. Here at the pizza plex, or what's left of it. Ooh. I don't have time to go into how I got here, but you've got to help me out. Save me, Cassie, please. Cassie. It's so dark down here. Oh. Oh. Oh, them endoskeletons. Oh, wow. Whoa, whoa! I'm playing as, as Cassie, I think, then. I might be playing as a. Oh, we might be playing as for the whole thing. What is that? Don't oh. give up on me yet. Oh, July! July! <laughs> July! Come on! Wow, okay, Whoa. there's a lot to go through, it, through in that, isn't there? So we've, I'm assuming Cassie is the girl from the poster, but Moon, or the, the daycare animatronic looks insane! I'm not quite sure what that last thing was, but we're going to go through the trailer, see what we can see. <laughs> okay. Now that's the entrance, so it's been papered up, and it's actually taking place in day this cutscene. But yeah, some it's happened, which obviously leading on from the end of Security Breach is most likely when the place burnt down. But yeah, I'm assuming this is Cassie who's jumping in from wherever she's come from. I think that's actually scaffolding, but it looks really good. Cassie, I... Look at that! Got all the graffiti, which I'm. Um, there has to be some kind of like reference to something in there. If not, then fair, okay, fair enough. I hope you get this message. No, I don't really know what that is. It's like a weird like penguin thing. It might be a staff, but I don't know. Here at the pizza plex, or what's yeah, this... left of it? Whoa. The environment is so go good. Into how I got here. That gate of golf. Once again, it's the atmosphere is very dark. The lighting is very dim, which I, I think is really good because. That's what we want. We want a horror game. Not all of the retro glam rock stuff, but we want something dark, something that's gonna make me poop. But you've it looks got really to help good. Me out. Yeah, the daytime Save me. daycare even. Cassie, please. It's so dark wow. down here. Look, look at Roxanne. She looks incredible. She looks really, really cool. And I'm liking the designs of these so far. Because Roxanne looks terrifying. Now I'm not I'm not quite sure what this device is. It looked like um like Cassie. I'm just gonna refer to as the person we're playing as is Cassie. Like it was like a fixer, like a like a key, like a remote key card thing. So you can get into places without, you know, needing like the key passes that you got from you know, the base game. So I'm assuming that's what that is, it's like a hacking device, it's probably like a little thing, like a little mini game thing you have to do to get access to the doors. Which could be cool, but I like, I like it, it's a nice new element, it's not gift, not gift cards, it's not, you know, the key cards, it's something new, makes sense and fits the story, which is nice. But yeah, don't like that these are still here. <sighs> still hate the endos, that horrible mechanic. I mean, just because I just don't like how things move when you look away, but, you know. Chica. Ooh. 
I think this is the hairdressers, maybe. It says Glamrock something on there. But yeah, you can see like the trees growing through like the floor. Jeek is still absolutely ruined. But I don't think they've showed her face. They might have, I might have just been too like, oh my god! And I might have not just noticed it, but yeah. The environmental storytelling so far looks really good and I'm liking what I'm seeing. Interesting though how it's still got power, so. I mean, it's probably Valley, to be fair, but, you know. Yeah. This security camera station, this, instead of having, like, the watch, I'm assuming it's, like, taking it back to the old FNAF days where you have, like, a, a terminal, you look through the cameras, know what's going on, which is going to be, like, a... It could be frustrating. That could be a frustrating mechanic because you've got to kind of, like, plan before... You do your thing, but whether when you have the watch, you could sort of make it up as you're going along. But interesting, it could just be like a, a segue thing. I don't know. But it also says intercom on the bottom left. I think using the intercom is like a FNAF 3 law to to move the animatronics around and allow allow either Gregory or Cassie to get to navigate, which would be cool. Yeah, this is what I meant about like the key card thing. It's either that or it's like a repair. Obviously by the, the wrench and you got like the weird tube things. Cool nonetheless, I like it. Gregory, run! Now in I think I think with this you're gonna be able to play as both characters at like certain points. Because I, I, I don't know, I feel like that would just be a missed opportunity not to do that, so I think that's just a thing that might happen, I don't know. But yeah, look at that environment. Oh, I'm going to have to go back to see that. Because I think that was Monty. Yeah. Ugh. That's a lot more horrifying. It kind of reminds me of Foxy as well, which is... I like that. You know, like the, the, the rusty jaw and all that. But I think that makes Monty look a bit more threatening. But yeah, very cool design from what I can see. I like it. Oh, and here we get a nice cutscene. This could possibly be a death animation, but I don't think so. I don't think they'd show that. But yeah, look at that. Really cool design. I like how there's, there's pretty much the only thing you can make out is his teeth. And that's it. Other, other than that, if you didn't have that, it's just an endoskeleton. But yeah, I like that. Whoa, I didn't actually notice this. Cheek is getting dragged off some to somewhere. Now the first thing that comes to mind is possibly they're gonna just be more, even more decommissioned. But I'm not sure. It's a very interesting shot though. Um, hmm. Is that Freddy? I can't tell, is that Freddy? I, I think that's Freddy. It's very dark, so I can't tell. I think that's Freddy. If that's Freddy, they've done my boy wrong. I think that's Freddy. Ugh. Okay, that is... Yeah, that's a big lump of no for me. Roxanne there. Huh. That is... Yeah. That's terrifying. I like that. Cool design. And that... Moon, the daycare attendant, whatever. It's like both of them in one, which is like half. He's like split down the middle. His right side's, you know, yellow sun, and his left side is obviously moon. But yeah, it's still also horrifying. Somehow they've made it more horrifying. But yeah, he looks really cool. And I know I'm gonna shit myself when it comes to that segment because. Moon is a horrible character, and having both of them mixed into one is going to be, hopefully, <laughs> make, hopefully scary. But yeah, his design is incredible. Whoa, hang on, I need, to, I need to go back on that. What is this? Some sort of like mask or probably like, I don't know. That's very interesting, I don't know what that could be.
Oh wait, yeah, it's a mask. Is that a Bonnie mask? No, that's a that's Vanny's mask. I'm fairly certain that's a Vanny mask, you know, from Help Wanted. Huh, interesting, isn't that? But yeah, there's like this whole like weird interface. And then you've got this. Is that glitch trap? Is that glitch trap? Hang on, let me get a clear thing. That looks to me like it could possibly be get glitch trap. Because there's ears. And then obviously it's glitching. But. I'd, that could be an entirely new character. But it's got ears. It's glitchy. I don't know what that could be. I've not read any of the new um, Security Breach books either, so it could have been something that's already been you know, written about. That could be a new glitch trap. But that looks... That's a very cool design. You've got like the lines on the forehead. It's very hard to make out what it is, but I like the, sh the glowing eyes, the glowing teeth, and the like gloves. It could be a giant William Afton. Because, you know, DJ Music Man. It's, it's got them hands. So it could be like a giant glitch trap boss. If it is, I hope it's the last thing. I hope that's the end of the William Afton reign and it moves on to Vanny or someone else. I don't know. But, me gusta. I like that. That's a very cool design. And they're not showing too much. But it's getting you hyped for it. Yeah. Ruin. Don't give up on me yet. Don't give up on me yet. July 2023. You know what? Yeah, that was worth the one year wait. I can't lie. Very, very good. Very, really looking forward to it. And maybe I will stream the entire base game like a month before uh, the Ruin DLC actually comes out. Get everything just in case there's any like secrets. So. If I do go go ahead with that, I will make a community post, and it'll probably most likely be on Twitch, because I've streamed Security Breach so many times on YouTube. But yeah, really looking forward to it. But I'm really glad that I still will have listened, and they're making something actually scary. The only bit of Security Breach that scared me was the Music Man, because well, that was just like sensory overload, so... You know, but yeah, really looking forward to it. It looks really good. Looking forward to see what everyone else says about it, but yeah. We eating good this year! But anyway, thank you all for watching. Let me know what you think about the trailer. And if you've got any theories, then drop them in the comments. But thank you all for watching. I'm going to go have a rest now. Because... Whew.